back to our show. Uh, we've had a good, extensive conversation. Orlando Usher uh, is an upcoming uh, director, producer, uh, filmmaker, actor, you name it. He has all the ambition, he has the initiative and drive uh, to make it happen. And I'm just excited uh, that he is excited that he's trying to make a difference, not only in his life, but he's trying to make a difference in the young people that's around him. Now, uh, Orlando being a young man, 24 <laughs> years old, we know we're living in a generation <laughs> where we already see all kind of stuff that are going on. Uh, I won't get into everything, but I would just like for you as a young man to go ahead, if you can, to try to explain to me why our young men uh, and some of our girls are getting into it, why we have to walk uh, with our uh, pants uh, hanging out. I mean, that may be uh, some justifiable cause of why this is being done. I, I don't know what it is. But being a young man, can you explain to me the mindset of some of our young people that are doing this and why you are not doing it? Um, I could say probably um, our young people are doing this because of uh, the internet, TV. Um, the, the era that's out now is called swag. Um, I say I blame it on swag because you got skinny jeans, you got baggy jeans, and just that trend that these rappers are trying to make. Um, I blame it on rappers, and I blame it on just different um, figures in these kids' life um, that they don't have. So it's fathers, uncles, grandpas, and stuff like that. Role models. Role models. That, that that used to be out and you know years ago and tell them hey you know keep your pants up what, what you doing I have the belt on right. you know it just that that one thing right, you know right, right. can keep that child from you know having their pants all the way down to their knees and when you go to the mall or you go to the convenience stores you see guys holding their pants now yeah. holding their pants now when you see it, and, and you see girls right. now holding their pants you're like man what are you serious right it's just the reason I don't do it is because you know, I have people looking at me. From 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 the beginning, from when you get out of a car, when you walk out of the house in the daytime, people passing along your house, they're looking at you. And that's where stereotypes come from. And right. and and if you got a, a small child or a niece or nephew or a daughter or son, they're looking at you. You're you're a model to them, and and whatever they see, they gonna copy it. Right. They're right. they gonna mimic what you do. Mm -hmm. So. What these little kids see on TV, the internet, or, or video, music video, movies, they gonna mimic it. Right. So you have to set your you have to set an example for what you want the generation to be that comes behind you. So I can I wasn't allowed to wear a second pants in my house. My mom wasn't having nothing about no second it pants. Break shoes, y'all. She be the break shoes up. <laughs> my mama was not afraid to to discipline us. Right. And it was not verbally all the time. Right. It was with a switch or belt or whatever right, it took right. to discipline us to get out here and do right. Mm -hmm. So I gotta give my mama all the credit for whooping me. And I like right, I told her, right. I just broke down with that and said, Mama, I appreciate you for whooping me. Yeah, you didn't know you didn't know. I that. didn't know it was right. gonna shape me into right, the young right. man that I am today. Exactly. Right. I gotta give my mom all the credit. So um, you know, young people, only thing I can tell you is pull your pants up. People are watching you. If yeah. you want to go higher in life, if you want to get that job, get that promotion, or or go to that fine school, people are looking at you. Right. People are looking at you, and they're trying to pass laws to fine you, tick you, citation. Right. It's going to get passed. Right. It's, I, I believe it's going to get passed in no right. time. Yeah. Um, I had a, uh, a young couple on my show, friends of mine, are um, Anthony and Shamika Usher. Yeah, their family right. actually on Zach's visit Stone Press, and we had a wow. conversation. And uh, we was actually talking uh, uh, about this subject about, uh, you know, the pants down and, uh, you know, you go to apply for a job. You know, uh, we were simply saying, and, and, and this is always my motto, uh, you, get, uh, you get looked at the way you present yourself. Exactly. Uh, now, we were talking about stereotyping a few minutes ago, how you was pretty much in, in a certain sense stereotype because you was a young black man mm -hmm. didn't have no record. Mm -hmm. Well. If you walking around with your pants down yep. and walking around uh, uh, mimicking or acting a certain way, then how can I treat you like somebody that's got the pants up with a suit on? How do I know you got anything in your head based on the way you dress? Yeah. You know, so you 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 put fear in people, in people. because they're afraid of you because they don't know whether you are a, a, a decent 
black person or whether you a uh, a, a, hula. Yeah, a hula black. <laughs> yeah, you know it's bad way to say it. Yeah. But you know, but 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 you put fear in the people because you know, they don't know how to relate to you and they don't know what to say to you or how to approach you based on the way you exactly. present yourself. Now, exactly. how do I know you got a four year degree? Exactly. Walk around with your pants with now. Your pants. But I think if you've been in school for a year, <laughs> you should have what that you should have learned. Is that your pants should be up. So we want to get all racist and want to act this way when people treat us a certain way. But if you want to be treated with respect, you got to first respect yourself. Exactly. Exactly. And if you don't respect yourself, then how do you right. expect yeah. others to respect you? And it doesn't take you having a suit on, khaki pants, or anything. Any kind of pants you have on, jeans or or skinny jeans or whatever. Let be well, decent. Be decent. You know, it don't take much to be decent. In other words, you have to represent yourself well. Well. Whatever you have yeah, on. Whatever you have on. It can be shorts it's like short. what you got on right now. Basketball but, shorts, but, anything. But, but have them up because you represent yourself. Yeah. And, you know, uh, like you were talking about parents, uh, a lot of it is is where kids have had kids. Exactly. That's the, that's, you know, that's the problem. Kids have had kids. That's the problem. And we have to be able to say, it's like, no, you're not going to do this. Exactly. And and then we have parents right now, they look back over their kid and they feel bad for what they did or they don't want their kid to feel like they have been uh, left out or pure pressure because they don't have the name brand stuff. But, exactly. but, but don't complain about your child walking around with their pants down when you bought them. <laughs> because if you bought them and don't have a right to tell them to pull them up, mm -hmm. you need to quit buying them. And let them buy their own. And let them buy their own, man. See, you know what that, I'm saying? That, that, so we have to we have to show tough love. Show tough love. That's that's what my mama did to me also. I wanted Jordans. I wanted I wanted Jabold. I wanted the top brand to, to fit in with these kids at school, but instead I got Converse. Instead I got Jordans. Right. And people I got picked on, of course I got picked on. Right. But it gave me something different to look at and appreciate more than versus those people out there saggy pants and stuff like that so right. it taught me early in life the pants that i had they weren't baggy they they were made to fit right so it already that right there taught me that my pants are supposed to stay up mm -hmm. so when i did go and buy those jabold or jordan or, or other brand pants i bought them for myself mm -hmm. that's the problem kids go to places like different different stores here in town and they get Two or three sizes bigger than what they're really supposed to wear, and try to fit a belt. It don't go like that. Get and your what size. What good is the belt if they're gonna hang? If you're gonna hang, yeah. get your size, have some decency about yourself, and go out here and make something of yourself. Right. That's all I can say. Now, uh, if you will, just go ahead and give us some contact information for you. Um, my contact on Facebook is Orlando Usher. Um, Orlando with an A. It's A R L A N D O Usher U S H E R on Facebook. Um, you can find me on Twitter as well, L A N D O U S H E R, at, at, at Lando Usher um, on Twitter. And um, my email address is Orlando Usher at yahoo.com. And um, just shoot me a shout, shout over and um, any extra work I have coming up, and even a film role. Um, if it one, two lines, I'll definitely help anybody out I can. Go from there. Okay. Now, uh, to all of our, our viewers, our young people, we just want you to know we wasn't here or trying to belittle anybody, but we're trying to better our people okay. as we go along and tell you. Empower. Right, Empower. yeah, and that's what it's about, empowering them. So i like to give a shout out to my producer, Heidi B. Fuller of the Fuller View, to Natasha Davis Bowen of Visionary People Arise. Uh, we have actually enjoyed our show. We've enjoyed Orlando. We just thank you for this opportunity for watching What's Your Story. I'm Kenneth Morgan, Orlando Usher. We're out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate you. Appreciate you.